This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast, just ahead of Halloween, Monday, October 30th, today. When last we podcasted, I think I was mowing my lawn. <laughs> and I got it done in the nick of time. Whatever I was doing last week when the you weather was sure so nice. did. Woke up not that far north of here, easily within the listening area. Actual snow I'm that resides the pictures on now. vehicles, mm-hmm. and everybody sent it in because we didn't believe it. Well, I didn't believe it. You saw it, so you lived I believed it because that's what I found in, our, in Neck of the Woods. This isn't north of Seven, because quite often we'll talk about that, how further north. And we mentioned Algonquin and Bancroft also yeah. already getting the minus mm-hmm. degree weather. But um, Campbellford, Sterling, so really just past the 401. Yeah. Started, the flurry started, and they just yeah. carried on north. For once, it wasn't the county, because the county quite often yeah. is the place that gets nailed with the bad weather. So if you had some of that, thanks for posting the pictures. Tomorrow morning, uh, when the show kicks off for Halloween, uh, the wind chill will be minus 7. So if, uh, you know, I think I'd like to be a princess. Okay, with a winter coat. <laughs> Right? Or maybe some layers underneath. Can I be that's a the clown? Worst. When you yes. put your costume on and then your mom makes you like bundle up. Yeah. So now you got to come up with that's a way to. That's a Canadian to, costume. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. I tested out our costumes on the weekend, so I think you and I are ready for tomorrow. Do you want to get into that after we play our sponsor? Yeah, for sure. We'll do that. And how we made out Saturday night at the CAA Arena with '90s Night. With the Belleville Senators, all with the Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast, brought to you by our friends in Trenton at Simple Desk. Simple Desk in Trenton is your ultimate destination to streamline, market, and strengthen your business's brand. Jenny, the visionary behind Simple Desk, took her commitment to business support a step further by creating Brazen, an event for women who dare. After the event sellout in 2023, get ready for an even bigger and bolder Brazen 2024. The full day experiential event is packed with networking, vendor booths, exciting giveaways, delicious food, and a speaker's panel of incredible female entrepreneurs sharing their inspiring stories. Don't miss out on Brazen 2024. Mark your calendars for May 31st. Tickets go on sale November 1st. For all the details, visit simpledesk.ca slash brazen. And be sure to follow Brazen on Instagram at Brazen Events 1. So first of all, you were not Rip and Beth because you no. were told there were going to be a number of them. Did it live up? Were there a few other Rips and Beths at the uh, there was fundraising at least dance? Three okay, other couples. So there were. There yeah. were, and they were all fantastic. So Wayne and I were involved with a charity event on Saturday night. Uh, we were doing a fundraising dance for the food bank in our community. So it was a Halloween dance. Lots of costumes. We changed it up last minute. I want to say it was maybe Wednesday or Thursday last week mm-hmm. where I pulled the plug and tried to convince Wayne to dress like Travis Kelsey. Yeah. So he was Travis, I was Taylor. Because there were, were so many Rip and Beths. I'm like, right. oh, we got to do something. And it was like a light bulb went off. And when I was getting all excited, you caught it immediately without me saying much. Well, that's but. because you're the spitting image. Of Taylor Swift. <laughs> Maybe when she's easy. retired. And that's kind of what the joke became. Because <laughs> my, hus- my husband is a very good looking man, a football player. Maybe in his youngest, he's got the shoulders for it. Yeah. But he and I both, there's no way I could be, I don't have the legs Taylor has, nor do I have the um, physique. We'll say I had the red lips, though. Okay. I did have the red lips. Right. I had the lipstick. Uh, I had a cardigan. I had my Eras tour shirt. Which was mm-hmm. really helped, and then Nathan or Nathan Wayne had um, I got sticky letters and put Kelsey on the back of his red I shirt. Saw those, yeah. With the Kansas City uh, logo on the front, and I got him some clip-on earrings. You know, and, the and he looks pretty darn good. Barnes dark, pretty darn so, good. So you know, with the lighting, you guys look like Travis Kelsey <laughs> when Taylor they're Swift. retired. Like, Where are the retirement years? <laughs> drink it in. This is what you're gonna look this like. This is where you're going. I give Wayne credit though, because he really committed. I had my bangs cut to have that blunt cut across that yep. she's wearing right now, and Wayne actually went and pretty well shaved his head. <laughs> wow, are you kidding? Really? <laughs> yes. That's a full on. You're not well, getting if you that see from Travis Kelsey, his hair's really short, right? I know. Yeah. You're not gonna do it. Oh God, no. <laughs> No. Mark, come on. Commit. No. Commit. No, I know I always say, if you're going to do it, take it seriously. Yes. 
Not you either really take it seriously, seriously or you're not. That's right. Not some, taking this seriously. Some people really took it even a step further. You want to talk about being serious with their costume Saturday night? It was really interesting to me. I was pleasantly surprised at how committed people were to mm-hmm. the costumes they wore. Like a gentleman showed up. He was actually the winner. He and his wife were the couple's winner because she came as Cleopatra, which was quite obvious. He walked in as Caesar, not Caesar the... Not Julius Caesar. Not Julius Caesar, Caesar the drink. Like he had a, tube, like a Caesar. Like a Caesar. I'm yeah. like, oh, that's a great costume. Not making the connection. For way too, it took me way too long to make the connection between the two of them. We'll say that. Um, but oh. he had all the dressings. Like he had like a bean sticking out and bacon and lettuce, and, 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 lettuce and celery and yeah, yeah, around this tube. I don't know what, if he went to the bathroom at all. I know he didn't sit. There was no way he could have sat in this. Yeah. And he wore it all night. So <laughs> good on him. Yes, very impressed. And you raised some pretty impressive dollars. Hope to. We don't know the final tally yet. We were also accepting uh, food donations, which thank you to everybody who did that. Some great local sponsors donated some wonderful prizes, which we gave out Saturday night as well. Um, a silent auction on a Sens box. Someone donated their senator's suite at the CA Arena, so we made some money on that. It was it was a good night. It That's was a, a long great night, way to a see night. a game. Great way to it see really a It really is, isn't it? I was disappointed I missed yeah. our suite Saturday night. And I told people that. I'm like, that's the way to go. 95.5 Hits FM night. It was 90s night. And we mm-hmm. played a rousing game of... Dance and sit down. Yeah. They call it musical <laughs> chairs. I don't call it that. Down on the ice for the first intermission. And the winner got a pair of Jonas Brothers tickets for the show coming up in Ottawa. That's a, that's awesome. And we're going to be giving away pairs all this week beginning tomorrow. We've got four pairs. Uh, we'll tell you more about the contest in a second. But uh, So there was five of them. They put them in helmets. I mean, this is so well, they have to be safe. Did you have a helmet on? No. See, yeah, that's what I always find funny because all the contestants, and I get they're playing the game. They're the ones moving. Mm-hmm. But we don't get helmets. No, no they they couldn't care less if we drop. <laughs> yeah. We don't care about you guys. Yeah. You guys can fall. And we okay. have remarkable balance. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. So they put them in all that stuff. And we can play musical chairs. There's five contestants, five chairs, and belly. Oh, belly. Yeah, yeah, belly's out there, too. So there was one girl. She seemed, like, really excited. I said, you a big Jonas Brothers fan? She said, yeah, I'd love to see them. So I turned to the guy beside her who had her by about 100 pounds. Yeah. And I said, do you like the Jonas Brothers? He said, no. I said, then fall down. <laughs> Let okay? her win. Fall down. You know. And, and then he, he got his back up. He's like, no, no, I'm going to try and win. It's like, okay, well, you're a jerk. <laughs> like, you don't want the them. The nice thing to do. You're right. You know, it's almost the holiday season. Was he winning them for someone else, though? He didn't say. He didn't say, well, okay. you know, I know somebody wants to win. It's just like, no, it's all about me. So, okay, well, you're a horrible person. I'm taking your helmet. The f- so then they play. Belly gets a seat. That girl gets bumped oh, out in no. the first round. Belly, like it's what no- are you doing? What are you doing, Belly? Belly, you should be the first one out. Yeah, so she didn't She didn't get <gasps> it. And it was like, oh, my gosh, that's so sad. <laughs> Then Belly goes out second. Belly knows the rules. So Belly's out second. Then he catches on. And she's Mm. staying and she's cheering. And I think that's wonderful of her till I... So she told me one of the remaining guys is her boyfriend. Oh, okay. So we got so another then, yeah, try. That's great. He makes it down to the final two and loses. <gasps> is, it, is it the jerk that wins? No. Okay. Because what happened is two chairs, three people, they each had, what, the two guys had a cheek on each side of the chair. So everybody stood there like they didn't know what to do. I went, oh, I know what to do. You're out. So I so threw him out. you got your revenge. Yeah, I threw him out. You're out of the game. And the guy left the ice. I think he was pissed. I don't know. We found him afterwards and gave him some prizes. Seemed happy about it because everybody got some other prizes. But anyway, a guy named Dave won. Good for Dave. Super guy. Our first Jonas Brothers winner of the week. I wanted to say on the, uh, we got Jonas Brothers in Vegas. We got airfare. We got three nights accommodations, $2,000 spent. Really build it up. And then when they go back and they wanted that, no, it's in Ottawa here. And you got to drive well, yourself. Well, it's still okay. I know, but I mean, let's really build it up. Let's do it right. No, I think we lowballed it. But anyway, it was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's Jonas Brothers tickets in Ottawa. In Ottawa. It is great. And we're going to be giving them away all this week with Mark and Charity Mornings. They're going to be there as part of their five albums, one night tour stop in Ottawa, November 29th, coming up at the end of uh, next month, courtesy of Live Nation. Mm-hmm. So livenation.com. So you can win your tickets starting with tomorrow. With Jonas Brother on. Trivia. So do you, have you made these questions? I figured you would be responsible for these questions. I was not even <gasps> consulted. Oh, so are they good then? I'm because not even, you were the Joe Bros super fan. I'm not even sure if they're accurate. They could be wrong. 
I didn't well, we'll have to look them up because I asked you if Frankie was involved too because there is no. a fourth brother. I feel bad for him because he's always no forgotten. No, well, this too is bad. the group though. This isn't just this Jonas is Brothers trivia. This is the band trivia. You, you and you and your lost causes and your lost puppies. I'm and always everything. cheering for the it. underdog. Yeah, just always. stop it, Joe Bros. Okay. So all of the answers are either going to be Nick. Joe or Kevin. That's all you That's need to why know. I was worried about Frankie. Nick, Joe or Kevin. Okay, Nick, Joe or Kevin. Got it. And there's a Nick. There's a Kevin. So you know, you do know it. Well, I'm just looking at it. I was like, yeah, okay. I didn't know that one. Oh, all right. I knew that one. Oh, I knew that one. And, uh, oh, and I know that one. Okay, I know three or four. Okay. The other one I'll have to trust. So coming up 8.15 tomorrow morning. 8.15 all this week. And give gotcha. you a chance to win those tickets. So that's going on. Do we uh, are we going to recap some of the Halloween stuff tomorrow? We are, Emery, because tomorrow is Halloween. So. Do we have yeah. any? Do we I have creepy know. music and everything ready oh, to go? We got we got enough songs too. We got plenty of songs for uh, Galaxy of Games. We'll play the Adams Family. Sound da 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 boom boom. Yeah, um, we'll have that in there. You got Will Smith and DJ Jazzy Jeff. Nightmare on my, my Street. No. You gonna play that one? Because we don't have all the music. No, I don't have that. There's all. We talked about this last week. There's only a handful of songs. Legit, yeah. Legit Halloween yeah. songs. That's always one, uh, because we had the preteen dance on Friday night for minor hockey, and one of the we don't. There's never actually a DJ at someone's playlist, and yeah. I had one of the the people who run it. They're like, okay, tell me some Halloween songs. You, you know them. You got to know them. So immediately, I used to get on my phone. I'm like, okay, yes. There were maybe, I think I ended up with 13. Yeah, that, that's a good and list. That, and that's, um, like, you I dug a little a bit. Yeah. I did, like, I included um, Don't Fear the Reaper, and I included, there was another one. They're like, really? I said, well, it's kind of, oh, Don't Enter Sandman, or Sandman by... Um, Enter Sandman. Enter Sandman. Metallica. I, yeah, which yeah. we can't play, I know. Yeah. That was, di- that was digging deep. But, yeah, all the fun ones with Monster Mash and Purple People Eater and Thriller and yep. all those ones. I uh, had to include them. I love Yacht Rock Fan. I love throwing a few other ones in. Like what? That we're going to have tomorrow. But I don't think you get them until the midday. Superstition, Stevie Wonder. That was one I included on yep, Friday, too. That's on there. Yep. Uh, Spooky by the Atlanta Rhythm Section. Not I my favorite, that. but I get it. Gets, Again. Gets engaged on Halloween. Dig a little deep. You put you them out there. Not, put maybe out not there. so obvious, but good. You get your you get your ghost spot. Oh, Cliff Richard, Devil mm-hmm. Woman. You don't like that one. Don't uh, like that one Witchy Woman no. by the Eagles. Yeah. Then you get your... Uh, Werewolf of London, London yeah. Warren Zevon. I'm assuming we'll play that in the morning show, won't we? Or I think so. Time later? Warp's in there. Yeah, Ghostbusters. You need thriller, Time Warp. All yeah. kinds of stuff like that. So. It'll be a good morning. I saw two over the weekend um, because of the dances we were involved in and with it being the weekend before Halloween, a lot of things happen for adults. You know what another popular uh, costume was I saw? Celebrities were doing this one. No. Britney Spears. Oh my gosh. I must have seen That's one of her that's five one of their or own. six celebrities dressed as Britney mm. Spears for Halloween. And a co <laughs> coworker kind of made the comment was one of them Jessica Beale. It was not. No. Because that would <laughs> Wow. Yeah. That would have been bad. But um who was it? Jessica Alba, Paris Hilton, and there was another one. At the same party as Jessica Alba, there were two Britneys. They both dressed up as Britney. Do you think that's <clears throat> in support? Because I don't know that that's mocking. Or I know. I think it's just what's in. Kind of like what I did with Travis and Taylor. I think it's just that's what's at the top of the everybody's pop culture list. That's book. that's what's making headlines mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Because that's everywhere you go. It's Travis and Taylor. So I thought, well, that would be a cool costume. Everywhere you go, it's Britney. So maybe some people dressed up as Justin Timberlake too. I don't know, no, but no, no. Uh, Britney seemed Apparently to be. Apparently, that's a small costume, so they don't gosh. have to. Don't that have seemed to, to be uh, the po- a popular one. This poor year. guy has shut down the comment sections. Well, I saw Lance Bass media. spoke up and said, "Guys, you know what? Leave him alone." Yeah, oh for sure. Like, yeah, this happened how many years? And it's true. Yeah, you know what? They were young. Yeah. They did. They. She was what seventeen, I think, when they started dating. Sounds right. Think back to when you were seventeen. Maybe not you, because you married your high school sweetheart. But Plus, we, that was so long we ago. We were all young at one time. We yeah. all probably did things that we're not proud of now. But you know what? That's what growing up is. Like you have mm-hmm. to go through some of this stuff to. Yeah. Because was it, was it outside that talking about? His endowment? Is that offside? You know, it's funny, Mark. I haven't seen that story anywhere but when you pulled it up. Really? I haven't seen I Googled it. I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know 
how much truth is behind that. But I do think if it is true, yes, I think she crossed the line. Yeah. I don't think she should have talked about that. Because mm -hmm. these tell-all books sell better when they tell all, which is usually but things can, we don't care about. There's a difference between telling all and scandalizing mm, yeah. situations. I guess so. Getting scandalous. And that, to me, is scandalous. That's yeah. not telling all. Nobody... What are you accomplishing by telling that? Yeah. Nothing. Oh, trying to sell more. I mean, I'm exactly. not disagreeing. You're hoping that that will lure people in to buy it. Because, like, for example, Jimmy Hollywood that we have, right? And he, mm -hmm. So he does Hollywood rumors all the time. And this may come as a shock to you when you listen to our podcast. <laughs> but there are some things he checks with us first that we wave him off. We yeah. say, no, I don't want to talk about that. Because it's, it's either not relevant. It's too sexual or it's too, you know, deviant or yeah. it's too, like, whatever. It doesn't play well to our but what audience. He it's not yeah, appropriate. What he, what he tells us is, there are some of his stations, particularly in the United States that are rock stations, that's all they want. Yeah, that's all so they want. they don't care what the number one movie at the box office is. They just want to know who's sleeping with who, who's banging who, who's got naked videos, mm. um, who's on drugs. Like, they want the bottom of the barrel because there are some people that's all they want. And so when I hear a book's on there, it's like, well, I know who that's geared at. It's the people that wouldn't think to buy a book. You know, until that stuff's in it. You know, they're not looking for your real story. They're looking for your real dirt. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. Yeah. If that is in the book and part of what she's talking about, Justin, it, to me, that doesn't have anything to do with her relationship with Justin. Yeah. yeah. Like that to me isn't telling her story. That's just that's almost nasty. That's yeah. taking a direct shot at someone. For no other reason than, as you said, to sell a book. And, and that's, not, that's not okay. I can't think of any names, and I probably should, but I, it, it tends to happen when a bombshell writes a book, and in there are all the men she loved, and invariably she ranks them. A lot of them end up doing that, and I think the same thing. It's like, they were all great for you at some point, mm -hmm. and you know when it's over... I'm, maybe some were more of a love of your life, but you don't need to yeah. tell the one that you only liked for a few weeks that was great that somehow that was a mistake. Like, you'd hate to read that. Like, again, we've all gone through that. I haven't. But, you know, <laughs> in Hollywood, that happens. There's, yeah. Like, the thing about Britney was I was kind of hoping and what would make me interested in reading it was her actually talking about her. Mm-hmm. Her experiences, how it made her feel, what she was going through, where her mindset was. Like, talk about you. I, yeah, it's interesting to hear about these other things that have help, happened in her life. But again, cut, bring it back to you. Like, this is how I was feeling. This is what I went through. This is how I felt. Mm -hmm. Instead of directing it onto the other person and thinking that's... And it, as you said, there are people who do want to hear that. That's yeah. just me. I would rather hear your story as opposed to cutting down other people. Bestseller already, though. So oh, yeah. No there question. It, is. it will be overtaken, though, by Matthew Perry. You mark my words. Yeah. Yeah. By his came out week. last year? Earlier right? this year. Earlier I think it came year. out in the spring. Yeah. Um, but again, with him passing over the weekend, which shocked the hell out of, yeah. I think, everybody. Yeah. Um, some of the stories. I was listening to Hank Azaria because he posted. They were friends when they first started in Hollywood. And he referenced the book because I guess Matthew talks about his time their friendship but right. kind of what they were going through so it kind of intrigued me even more it's like oh because he pointed out he's like he really died there were parts of the book um he had to put down like he had to keep putting it down because he was talking about a part of his life where they were friends he said and that's always hard because i think a lot of people already said goodbye to him years ago with the addiction mm -hmm. so you you grieve that person who you loved at that time right. and reading the book takes you back to that person and yeah. it's like a whole other you're going through it all over again so he said it was it was hard to read the book so it kind of made me think oh there's more to this than just his time on friends yeah or yeah the addiction there's more to him so i'd like to read that one and john stamos has his book out same it's out sort too. of thing like you think yeah. well by the ass right Guy is good looking. He's in with the Beach Boys. He's got a TV show. Had his demons to deal with. Now, yeah, it always comes with a price. I can't wait always for Taylor's book. Price. That's <laughs> it's going to be enormous. It's gonna, if, she, if she ever that's wrote what's a book, be. <laughs> and I hope 
I don't want her to do what Britney's did. Like, but think of the people, like the relationships oh, yeah. she's had. She's got to mention them. Yeah. You don't have to go into detail, but come on, you got to share a little bit. The John Mayer chapter is just going to be ridiculous. Jake Gyllenhaal Jake is going to be has two albums. <laughs> exactly, and probably something on a and greatest hits I, I should laugh about it, but if, if she ever Invariably. writes a book, yeah. <laughs> I really be. thought I really thought she and Calvin Harris were for real because they were together for I kinda did too. a long time. Shh, and then her latest guy was a couple of years guy, sort of not I in. I guess Kelvin wasn't as long as this. Till Travis actor. showed up. Travis will be forever. That's gonna be her forever. Mm-hmm. That's it. They'll People get married. People are saying that already. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's know. been a month, guys. Easy, Come on. Easy guys. It's fun to watch. It yeah. is. And it there's some there is something happy around them. Like that yeah. you can't help but get drawn in by it. But it's been a month. Tour's like, back on, on for Exactly. Her. She's going to be back football. out on the road. He's playing football. See what happens. Exactly. See who's kissing who on New Year's Eve around mm-hmm. midnight. Coming up tomorrow, Bill Glisky on the show. The uh, Children's Safety Village has got a uh, wonderful program put together in the morning night from 4 until 5 for children with sensitivity issues from autism issues, or yep. whatever. If they're, yep. uh, they like to travel slower than most kids or whatever. Uh, because once you open the gates at 5 and the Looney Tunes get in there, the regular kids chaos. are running around. Uh, but those that would just like to spend a little bit more time from 4 until 5 and then 5 till 7. Lots of volunteers from EMTs and firefighters and police. and they're gonna Just be a volunteering. safe spot for kids yeah. to go. Parents who do have to go with them. That's right. There's no drop-off. No, but it, there is a little less worry to it, which is yeah. quite nice. So they can just go and enjoy. Yeah. Children left alone are going to get a latte and a puppy. So... Just be forewarned. Just forewarned. It's a kitten and a cappuccino. So be very careful. Mm -hmm. Uh, So that's going on tomorrow. And uh, we'll get to set for Halloween. It will be cold tomorrow morning at minus 7 when the show kicks off. So wake up tomorrow morning on Halloween with Mark and Charity Mornings on 95.5 Hits FM.